welcome to another episode of Shark's Beer Bites. I am Shark Bites. Um, this week, the wife bought me a six-pack to review of Land Grant Creamsicles, which is a Kolsch with orange and vanilla. The Land Grant is out of right here in Columbus, Ohio, so a local brewery. Uh, and they must not be a very big brewery because it looks like the can is just a blank silver can with a sticker on it. Uh, if you couldn't really see it well, it looks like an ice cream truck was a... Orange creamsicle on top with a bite taken out of it. So I'm guessing that this is a, probably an orangey Kolsch. Let's see what else they got on this can here. Well, they got a little blurb. Return of an old favorite. We first brewed our take on the creamsicle back in 2015, and now it has finally arrived in cans. A crisp Kolsch backbone. Serves up intense summer friendly aroma from the addition of orange and vanilla beans. These flavors blend together in such a sweet, nostalgic harmony. You can almost hear the ice cream truck coming down the street. Scrounds up some change and enjoy a refreshing crimsicolch. There's nothing better. Alright, so some just first impressions from the can and the little poem or whatever they wrote there guessing that this is probably a summary type beer but uh i guess we'll find out it smells very orangey good only one way to find out All right, so it tastes, doesn't taste as orangey as it smells. That's for sure. It's um, kind of just like a, a vanilla Kolsch. Um, I mean, the Kolsch is one of my favorite beers. Um, actually, my favorite Kolsch is um, Joe Thomas's 73 Kolsch. So, Joe, if you're watching... Send me some of that shit, because you can't get that down here in Columbus. And I saw you on Twitter the other day said they were making another run. So, even though, like, I will personally review it if you send it, even though the wife didn't buy it. But, uh, I'm not getting I'm not getting summery vibes out of it even though it looks like a summery can with the ice cream truck. Um kind of a confusing I mean it's not I mean it's it's a good beer. It's just not as orangey as I expected it to be considering you know, it's supposed to be a creamsicle. Um and it's not, like I said, it's not really giving me a summery vibe. Uh, it's giving me like a, a holiday dessert type vibe with like the vanilla desserts you get, you know, around the holidays. Um, kind of, it's kind of confusing. I don't know what mood this beer is good for. I guess it's it's not like an aggressive beer, you know, where you want to like play like a PvP or PR game and start shooting some people. But it's also not like a wacky or really laid back beer either.
Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. It's like an in between. Like it wants to be summery and casual and kickback, but it also it wants to be something else. So I'm not exactly sure you know what game this would work with well. It's um like I said it's not bad. I like the beer. I would drink again. Matter of fact, I will drink at least five more times. It's hard to pinpoint like a a genre, if you will, of beer. And when you can't exactly pinpoint a genre of beer, and it's a confusing beer, I guess I know what game I'm going to play. Because if you're confused and you don't know what you want to do, there's only one game that that is. And let's take a look at Death Stranding. Because what other game is... Who the fuck knows what's going on? All right, so here we go. Um, I've already beat this game, so I'm going to try to leave spoilers out and really shouldn't be any spoilers. Since I have already beat it, I guess maybe there could be spoilers of locations. But for all you ladies out there, let's take a shower with Norman Reedus. So, unlike that one girl streamer that sold her bath water for money to her creepy fans, uh, Sam turns his bath water into bombs. Oh, this game's fucking weird. Okay, so let's pop open another one of these and talk about what this game kind of is about. All right, so you're this dude. America's kind of fucked. It's like kind of post-apocalyptic. Um, this game is one of the games, the reason why I drink when I play games. It's, um, so you're basically a delivery man and you're taking packages from one place to another. So I guess so far normal, right? Yeah, you're a fucking delivery man. Uh, it's mostly by foot, although you can get vehicles. There's a baby attached to your chest. So that's not normal. All right, so like, if you see out there in the front, there's a bridge. Oh, like right here's a charging station someone put. And then there's all kinds of stuff out here. I don't know what that is. There it is. These like little burnt paths are the paths that people take. So like the more people that take a path, the more ingrained the path becomes. Like, when I first started, this bridge was not fucking here. Someone built this motherfucker. If I, was, if I wasn't lazy, I'd actually get out of the vehicle and like it. You can like stuff. Um, you can find other people's lost cargo along the way. 
so actually the last time I've been in this area this is very built up from what I was used to like literally the first time I came through here there was nothing but me and the fucking packages I was carrying that's not good I don't like this. Okay. We should probably store all this fucking shit in the truck. Is that really what I think just happened? I literally have nothing but boots. All right, so we are going to turn around because apparently I pulled a Jerry and left without realizing I didn't have fucking anything I don't have any ladders, I don't have any weapons, I don't have any ropes. People. Yeah. They're called BTs. And... They're basically ghosts stuck in an in-between world. Which is what this little robot detects, which is a connected to the baby on your chest. The baby on your chest helps you see the fucking dead thing. So what you gotta do is you gotta come through your path that you're gonna take. Well, at least that's what I do. Better actually equip a fucking weapon. There we go. You gotta equip a weapon in whatever way that thing is pointing. There we go. Is the closest dead thing. Oh. Yeah, see it? You're right there. I'm just gonna shoot it with some of blood bullets and kill it. Yeah, early on in this game, you want to sneak through. But eventually you get to the point where you're just like, fuck these motherfuckers. And you're just like, you know what? Take some fucking blood bullets right up the fucking ass. Look at that. Come on. Fuck you. What's going up there? right there the, the thing is it hold on I guess let me show you what happens when you get caught because Getting caught is a thing in it all on its own. So let me aggro one of these things. Because why not? We're fucking drinking. Let's just fucking do it. Hey, there's one. Hey, buddy. What you got going on here, eh? Oh, no. I really want to fucking aggro you. Look, I'm not even going to fight this time. Just, just fucking take me. What happens when you get caught? Fight a motherfucking space whale. 
All right, let's fucking do this. Where you at, fucking weird ass space whale? Hey, where's my gun? You also got to fight the space whale with bullets. Actually, the space whale is better killed with a grenade. So we're going to get these out. We're going to fucking bomb this motherfucker. With my blood. All right, where'd you go, bitch? Are oh, you fucking way over there? All right, bye. Like I said, when you first start the game, this is terrifying. But when once you unlock a lot of weapons and shit, you can counteract them. Then sometimes it's just easier to just fucking aggro and just kill everything. All right, so weird beer, weird game. That was Death Stranding. This was Land Grant, James Sakolsh, straight out of Columbus, Ohio. Um, like I said, a very good beer. I just don't know if it's with the summery theme that they're laying down with the summery can with the ice cream truck. More vanilla than orange, in my opinion. Uh, I do like the beer. I would say. In the shark fin scale. Maybe last week's beer, I started a little bit too high. Because I like this beer a little bit better. Oh, I like Kolsch's, so. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to be like the IGN of beers where a seven out of 10 beer is like a horrible game or a seven out of 10 game that they do. So I don't want to overrate. So I will give this four shark pins out of five. Land Grant, Imsa Kolsch. So, um, it's just shark bites fighting off.